it's Jessie. Today I'm drinking Traminette wine from Armstrong Valley Winery. If you're ever in central Pennsylvania, check them out. Okay, so I'll be doing the mid-year freakout tag. I, I don't know how freak out this is. I don't, I don't really have like reading goals per se. I mean, I do set vague goals or I do like on story graphs set the like book and page count I'm trying to read, but like I don't really try to do that. Reading for me is fun, not something to stress about. So I don't know if freak out's the right word, but like mid-year book tag and we'll see. Okay, number one, best book you've read so far this year. Well, I mean, is it though? Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. It's definitely, um, whoop, if I can get this off the shelf. It's definitely Black Sun by Rebecca Rowanhorse. Uh, I, I love this book and I cannot wait to read the rest of the series. And I think now that I own it physically, I'll probably reread it physically before the sequel comes out. Uh, I loved it. Uh, and then the second question on here is the best sequel you've read this so far this year. Man, I've read so many good books. Um, I think I'm going to go with... I'm 50-50 here. I'm going to say both because I can't pick. Either Dragon Republic by R.F. Kuang or the final of the Wayfarer series, so The Galaxy and the Ground Within, but Becky Chambers. I really, really love those both, but for very different reasons, but I think if I had to give the edge to one as a sequel, I'd give it to The Dragon Republic just because it's actually more of a sequel, a continuation of the story. Um, Poppy War, I, I, am I talking about what these books are about or am I just talking? No, I'm just gonna mention the books, you know? If it's relevant, I'll bring it up. New release you haven't read yet but want to. Let me check my story graph for 2021 releases. There is, there's second, yeah there is one for most anticipated release. So there's one that I'm like, I'm gonna go with the one I'm thinking of here which is For the Wolf by, For the Wolf by Hannah Witten which I really do want to read. It's a Red Riding Hood retelling. It's got spooky haunted woods. It's, it sounds so good. And I also maybe accidentally started following the author on Twitter and they keep posting about it, which makes me want to read it more and more and more. The reason I'm not is because it says it's part of a series and I don't want to get stuck in waiting for books to be published. So I think my resolve for that will probably crumble eventually and I'll read it. I'm thinking maybe October, but uh, as of yet, I haven't read it yet. And then number four is most anticipated release from the second half of the year. So this doesn't have dates on it. So I'm not sure when things were published. Oh, that could be. It could be the new Becky Chambers. So a Psalm for the Wild Bill, a Psalm for the Wild Bill, which is about a tea making robot I think and like a post-apocalyptic wasteland of earth I think it sounds really cute other options would be she who became the sun by Shelley Parker Chan both of these are starts of series though mm -hmm. and just scrolling through yeah those two would probably be the most anticipated but I don't usually immediately reread read new releases so especially if they're book one in a series uh going on to number five is biggest disappointment i mean i think the obvious answer to this would be um heart shaped box by joe hill just because i haven't had a bad book by joe hill yet and this one was so bad just so bad um other than that, I would have to go with, ugh, they're on my shelf down here for unhauling. Um, Era 2 Mistborn. I haven't finished reading it. I'm on the third book now, but um, what, what was Sanderson thinking with these? And it's not like, it's not like they are terrible books, right? They're just bad for Sanderson. Like, 
there's a lot of weird misogynistic undertones here. Wayne gives me the creeps. Uh, the plots are really predictable. The characters are rather shallow caricatures. I know I, I'm being really mean, but like these really, really let me down. That's why they're down on my own hall shelf. What? Next, number six, biggest surprise. Why am I looking at this? I don't even own most of these. Maybe, maybe Ship of Magic. Maybe Ship of Magic because I really, really struggled. And not in a bad way, but I struggled to get through the Farseer trilogy um, because they're dense and they're slow, which is fine. This didn't take me, this took me like a week. Like, and this is not, thin by any means. It's a chunky book. But it took me like a week. I really, really love Ship of Magic. Now, so far Mad Ship, which is over there because I'm currently reading it, isn't going as smoothly. But that might be my biggest surprise just because I wasn't, I was expecting to like it, just I wasn't expecting to get through it as quickly. I'm just gonna skim through real quick other things I've read. Yep, I think that would probably be it. Favorite new author, debut or new to you. So I am gonna go with so many good new authors I read. Um, I mean, the obvious choice here, and it's definitely gonna be an author that's like an auto read for me, is Becky Chambers. I love to be taught a fortunate. I loved every book in the Wayward, Wayward, Wayfarer series. So probably Becky Chambers. Robin Hobb wasn't new this year. Anderson certainly wasn't. And maybe Re Rebecca's just really got me going because RF Kwong could be, but I want to read more from her other than outside of that world. Same thing with Rebecca Rowan Horse. I would love to read more from her outside of this book, like see how the sequels go. Maybe give Trail of Lightning. Of Lightning. The other one would be Although I guess technically he's not new this year, P. Jelly Clark, but I read, did I read, wait, maybe I did read that this year. When did I read? Haunting of Tramcar 15. Oh, there it is. Um, so P. Jelly Clark isn't new to me this year, but like, I think he's probably a favorite because I loved Ring Shout. Those would be the ones I would have to say, but of the ones that like I've read more than one, if I go with like Murphy to Pierce, criteria for favorite author is that she's read at least two different works from them, encompassing even series. I think the only author I have that could count for that would be Becky Chambers. Although you could put River Solomon in that because I had read The Deep last year and I just finished Sorrowlands by them. So also another option on there. So, not brand new, but new. P. Jelly Clark would also be there, but I think brand new, hadn't read anything from them before, would be Becky Chambers. Um, yep. Next one, newest fictional crush. I know this is like always a thing, and I don't think I've ever watched a single video where somebody has an answer for this because we're all adults who are like crushing on fictional characters. Now that's not fair. You can do it. I'm trying to think. I look on my shelf when I don't own most of the books. The Sorceress Who Eats Girls has something going for her. Um, Yasna? Yasna, maybe? I don't know. I like a lot of people, but the idea of like a fictional crush has never quite hit me. Newest favorite character, though. No, I can't answer that. You can't make me choose a favorite character. I just can't do it. I, I don't know that I can do that. Um, of all the books I've read, is there anybody I'd like absolutely like would die for that character? I mean, the, all of them in Black Sun. Note to self, Black Sun makes a good weapon. Um, but all of them in this, Giala and Serapio, 
are both pretty great, but I don't know if they would be favorites. Hmm. No. Main character of Nightshine, maybe? I liked them and their journey. They went on a lot. Yeah, actually, I might go with them. The her, but the main character for Nightshine, whose name I cannot divulge because it's a spoiler. That's who I think I would go with for new favorite character. And six months of books is a lot to think about. Number 10, a book that made me cry. Okay, um, a few of them. Let me just scroll through. Let me list some for you. Nightshine, I was crying from the dedication of that book. Ooh, another disappointing me book, Song of Achilles. That was disappointing. Um, so was the Midnight Library. I heard a lot of disappointing things. Um, Black Sun, I think, made me cry. Penelope had was another disappointing read. Um, I think I cried at Midnight Bargain. To Be Taught made me cry. Yeah, Sorrowland made me cry. I cry a lot. It's not that hard to make me cry. Um, so yeah, there's one I'm reading right now that has made me cry, like all that. Uh, right now I'm reading In the Dream House, and that has made me cry, like, a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Sorrowland might have. Did I say Sorrowland? Remote Control also, I think, got me going. I cry a lot when I read. Not, like, bawling, but, like, my eyes tear up a lot while I read. For happy reasons, sad reasons, whatever. Book that made me happy. Just unadulterated happy. Oh, gosh, I got the hiccups now. Um... So one thing I've noticed, I don't read a lot of happy books. My reread of The Night Circus made me really happy. That might start being an annual reread for me because I loved it. We'll see if it stays that way if I read it too often. Um, the entire Wayfarer series made me so happy. Actually, like, if you want to talk about just joyful books, that series really did it. Uh, yeah, those would be the ones that made me really happy. The Exile 7 made me happy too, and Nightshine. Did I say Nightshine made me cry? Nightshine made me cry a lot. Um, yeah, that's it for making me happy. Most beautiful book you've bought this year, so far this year, or received. So I haven't read those yet. So that I, Nightshine is, Black Sun is gorgeous. But it's, it's, I don't know that face. I don't like faces. Um, up here, these two I just recently bought. Please don't fall. And I haven't read either of them yet, although I plan to read them soon. And of the two, I think this one, The Daughters of East, is probably one of the most beautiful books I've bought. And then I'm also a big fan of this, this edition of the live ship traders that I got and of all of them ship of destiny I think is the prettiest one yeah ship of destiny would probably be the prettiest one of this trilogy I have books everywhere now I'm gonna put this one on this stuff. don't do that you guys are gonna see everything collapse here soon and what books do you need to read by the end of the year? Nothing in particular. I would like to get through. <laughs> I'd like to finish Oathbringer. That's not a small one. Technically, this shelf here. So the books here are books that were on my TBR for 2021, which I haven't really stuck to. But these five, six would be on it. So that's Warriors of the Altai. Amazonia, House of Leaves, Princess of Shadow and Dream, The Diviners, and Why Are All the Black, Black Kids Sitting Together in the Cafeteria. Those are the ones that like I told myself I was going to get to in 2021, and I've done not great <laughs> on sticking to that. And I, there's a couple others I think that I have as ebooks, and I don't think there was an anthology that I did. So those would be the ones I like have to get to. Um, Preferably. And we'll see. I mean, six books left in six months isn't too bad. 
this is nonfiction, so that'll take me a while, and House of Leaves will take me a while, but I actually think the other four won't. The Diviners, I'm gonna get to maybe when I finish Wax and Wing. Um, and that's that for this. Um, yeah. I don't know how to finish this video right now because it was a little bit of a mess. I have a big stack of books here that I talk, are books that I in some way or another mentioned or talked about in this video. Here's some of them, the ones that I actually own. I think this is the biggest stack of books I've ever held up in a video. And that's it from me. Let me know down below what your favorite and least favorite books are so far this year. Especially surprising. I think of all these, number six biggest surprise is the one I'd be the most curious about. What's a book you read this year that really surprised you? And that's it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.